Today in Ireland is the day of commemoration for the Great Famine, the, the Great Hunger, the whatever you're going to call it. Um, unfortunately, of course, it's a contested title. And as you can see beside behind me, the backdrop I'm using is a gable end from Northern Ireland, where there is, of course, a tradition of doing mural painting. And you have the name of the famine up there in Gortamore. And, of course, another view, a view of the famine is it's a genocide by starvation. And you have, on the other side of that, Ireland's Holocaust, 1845 to 1849. What you can't see, and you couldn't see unless I did a backflip and you could see the bottom of it, is it talks about 1.5 million deaths. Um, now, I'm not really going to comment on that so much as how it's perceived as more on the speech today by the Taoiseach, Gaza famine repellent to Irish psyche. Given Simon Harris is back and forth with um, Isaac Herzog late, uh, earlier on, that's not going to go down too well, I think. Let me stop the share, share it again, and see what the news article has got to say so, so we can get some sound. The unfolding famine in Gaza was described as repellent to the Irish psyche at the National Famine Commemoration in County Longford today. Taoiseach Simon Harris made the remarks as he described the Great Famine as our national tragedy. This is the first time the commemoration ceremony has taken place in Longford, one of the most severely affected areas during the famine. The Taoiseach spoke of empathy, compassion and solidarity for those in need to ensure that the spirit of those who died lives on in our efforts to create a just and humane world. We have the haunting story of one mother carrying a baby on her back desperately searching for food, who was too much stupefied by hunger and despair to realise that her child was already dead. He went on to say that as a nation it was repellent to our psyche to witness famine unfolding in Gaza as a tool of war, and that Israel needs to step back and ensure the unimpeded flow of humanitarian aid. Music was performed by local band Strangkong and tributes were paid to the unwavering support of the Edgeworth family who founded this town. Yeah, of course, I know the Edgeworth family who are famous as literary figures as well as in Irish history. Presumably, uh, I could do a presentation about Maria Edgeworth. And he's a particularly famous literary figure. But anyway, let's keep going. The renowned writer Maria Edgeworth wrote her final novel to raise funds for the famine relief effort. Today, as we remember the victims... Hilarious that the presenter should mention it just after me. ...of this cataclysm in Ireland. The vital message that this commemoration sends out to the world is indeed one of hope and renewal. The Taoiseach later unveiled a commemorative plaque and local school children assisted in the planting of trees to mark the occasion. Theresa Mannion, RT News, Edgeworth. That is not, I imagine, going to help the rocky relationships between Israel and Ireland right now, with Simon Harris drawing that direct link between the uh, the two of the, uh, the events of that period, and of course, more and sort of what's going on in Gaza right now. I can just see that being the sort of another diplomatic um, back and forth and kerfuffle tomorrow morning. Let's see how that evolves as well. I wasn't going to do any more videos today, and then I noticed it at the last minute, and it struck me as something that's likely to blow up into a a diplomatic, diplomatic war of words as time goes on, and it's, if anything, going to pour oil on what already seems to be a blazing fire between the two countries.